Hey, if you like this photo slideshow but don't have time to create it yourself, then stick around because I'm going to share this project file with you right now and it's absolutely free. You can do whatever you want with it. Instantly add your favorite photos, change the music, it's entirely up to you. Go to the video description and see for yourself. My project file is right there, ready for you to download. Before you do, there's two things you need to know. I created this photo slideshow using JPG photos. So to make things easy, make sure your photos are JPGs. Then I created this using Movavi 2023. So in order to open this project file, you need to have Movavi 2023 or a more current version. If you don't have that, I put my Movavi affiliate link along with a discount code in the description. So feel free to check that out. Now let me show you how this works. After you download my project file, again, you'll find that in the video description. On your desktop, create a new folder and give it a name. Then dump your 40 favorite JPG photos into it. If you have less than 40, that's perfectly fine. Now rename these photos in numerical order with one being the first photo in your slideshow, two being the second, and so on. If you're using Windows like me, here's a tip to save you a bunch of time. Start by right-clicking on an image, select rename, type one, then hit the tab button on your keyboard and you're automatically ready to rename the next photo. So now we can simply type two, then tab, then three, press tab, and so on until all photos have been numbered. Okay, that's it, the hard part's over. The next step is to simply go ahead and open up that project file. Now, when you open the project, you'll get a notification and be asked to select a folder. So find that new folder with your numbered photos in it and boom, all your photos are now added to the slideshow. Now I created this slideshow with 40 photos. So let's pretend for a second that you don't have all 40 and only 30 photos in your folder. No problem, you'll have a new notification for that. Just click remove. Now, because photo sizes vary so much, there's a good chance you'll notice some black bars on some of your images. But don't worry, this is a simple fix. So as you can see here with these new photos, a lot of the background photos are not sized correctly. So they have these black bars. As a quick fix, I'll just highlight all the images like this, go to the applied effects list and remove the crop. Then with all the images still highlighted, I'll open up the crop tool and over here in the preview window, adjust the crop as desired. One note on this, even if you like it centered as is, still move it around a little and then back to position. I found that this helps the program apply and save the crop properly. Now add your favorite music as well as any extra adjustments you'd like and be sure to export in a high quality resolution. Let me know in the comments if you like this and want more of these. And as always, if you have any questions, I'm always happy to help.